Some of us are back to work punching the clock today while others maybe have the longer weekend. If you're going to be out, maybe enjoying the day off, maybe you got a half day or maybe you're just working. The forecast is going to be the same. You're going to find mid 80s for a high this afternoon under partly sunny skies. I do anticipate at times maybe a little more cloud cover rather than the sun, but with the heat and the humidity, we're going to be looking at some isolated but pop up showers later this afternoon. I'm not canceling my plans, so just have the WTO wall 11 weather app if you're going to be out and keep it out for Tuesday as we're going to still be looking at hot and humid conditions. We're talking 90 degrees, more sun, plenty of sun for Independence Day. So as you go to the parades, it's going to be a warm one. Now on Doppler radar, we've been seeing quite a bit of action here lately, and you're going to find yet just a couple of pop up showers, maybe a few sprinkles in just a few spots. But many of us, we have the dry weather here this morning. And as we go throughout the rest of today, you'll still notice some clouds that are hanging around but the chance for those pop up showers are going to be very spotty here and there. Some of us are going to make it through the day completely dry. Others may just be well caught underneath a pop up shower or two. And considering we have the heat and the humidity, that comes to no surprise. Now, by tomorrow morning, we're going to actually be using our sunglasses right off the top. We're going to be looking at mostly sunny skies. It'll be hot and humid for the afternoon, so I am still going to be mindful that maybe just maybe we pick up a sprinkle, but even on Tuesday that rain chance is going to be very, very low. Now the humidity was here for the weekend and it does stay as we go through all of this week. We're talking muggy today and tomorrow. It'll be even a little more muggy by tomorrow afternoon, but Wednesday it's at least just sticky and Thursday we are eyeing rain, so that's why we see that kind of being our peak day as that water is going to be in the form of rainfall rather than wearing the humidity. But with the rainfall for today, just keep an eye on radar with the WTO 11 weather app. All you have to do is have that on your phone. Check radar because you will find at times we have some of those scattered showers that are going to be in play for us. Now 90s though are not just for Independence Day, but we're going to find those for Wednesday as well. Looking at plenty of sun until the cold front on Thursday, bringing some storms and then knocking highs into the low to mid 80s. That'll stay here for the weekend. We will find that we have a system that moves in towards the early half of next week, so we'll be keeping an eye on that once we get to the later half of the weekend. But if you are headed out on those roadways, we're going to check in with Stephen Jackson and your traffic tracker.